Oh, okay, yes. This is the best. I'm telling you, this is the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right on top of the coffee. Okay, I really need to get this day started. Like, mm. Mm. that hit the spot. That hit the spot. Mm. Hey, you guys, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so in today's video, we're going to be doing bomb bagging. Guess what arrived? My Ipsy a Glam Bag Plus shipment for the month of October. I'm super excited about this one. Reason why? Because it is Halloween month and I can't wait to see exactly the actual bag I'm going to be receiving this month or this variation. Does that make sense? Hopefully it did. Anyways, you guys, so if you want to know exactly what goodies I received in here, then you got to keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Carlos. Welcome. Okay, it's special. No, seriously, my name is Carlos. If you like unboxings, product reviews, makeup tutorials, lifestyle videos, and hot messes, then this channel is right up your alley. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications. And give my video a thumbs up because you're here. Why not? And and it does help out my channel. And plus, as always, I appreciate it when you do give my video a thumbs up. So, what are you waiting for? Thumbs up. I'll wait. I'll wait and subscribe. I'll wait. You still haven't done it. <laughs> Anyways, guys. All right, go ahead and subscribe and like my video and let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get this sucker on, not box, unpackaged to see exactly, again, what we received in our Ipsy October Glam Bag Plus shipment. As I mentioned, I'm pretty excited about this one because I love Halloween. Halloween is my anniversary month. It's the month I got married. I actually got married on Halloween day. So it literally is one of my favorite holidays. But as the reason, that's not the reason why I'm excited for this. I'm just excited because I want to see the actual drawstring bag. Anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and drink some a little bit of my, uh, my coffee. I'm not saying I added anything extra. I didn't, but if I did, it probably would be like Kahlua. Oh, you know what would be good in here? Some fireball. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for that, right? Anyways, guys, no, it actually is too early in the morning for this. I just got dropped in, dropped, dropped in, just got done dropping off the kids maybe like 30, 40 minutes ago at the bus stop. So I figure since they're gone, my daughter's watching TV right now. So you may hear in the background or you may hear my dog in the background chewing on his bone. You hear it? Anyways. So I figured, let me go ahead and sit down, have a conversation with you guys, and start recording. Oh, real quick. This stuff, if you have not ever tried it, get it. Pick it up. This sucker goes good on everything. So this is like, if you're familiar with Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, now they have it in Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinnamon Dust. Literally, like, the cereal has its own dust, like if you see in here. This tastes so delicious, like on French toast, on top of your coffee, on top of your like yogurt, um, oatmeal. It really, really does. All right, you guys, so enough about that. I just thought I would share something that <laughs> tastes amazing. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, all right. So let's go ahead and get the sucker. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard that. My dog just burped. Anyways, dun -dun -dun. all right, you guys. Oh, what's this? Okay, so, oh, sorry. Got a, like a box that's open in here. So, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Anyhow, all right. Why is this? Hold on, you guys. I got it. All right, so I got a used open box. No, I'm just playing. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. But let me go ahead and just show you the bag because this is what I've been waiting for. I want to see how adorable this bag is. And it did not disappoint. Look at this, this is super cute. So we got like a hand, uh, a potion, Sni uh, Snyder, what's a Snyder? Um, a spider and a snake, I think rolled up in one. Broomstick, a witch's hat, a, what is that? What is this? Where did it go with this? What the heck is that, you guys? I, I don't know, but this is actually really cute. I do like it. Okay, this is, act this is really a, this is adorable. So this is, oh, it's a hand cream. Actually, <laughs> I could use this right now. So this is from the company, it feels like plastic, but it's okay. Um, Mishko, I, we've been getting this a lot recently in BoxyCharms and Ipsy. So Mishko Beauty, this is a hand cream. Let's go ahead and test this out. So this is uh, four ounces. All right, so my hand is a little thirsty right now, meaning it's dry. So let's go ahead and see if there's a fragrance, what the consistency is in terms of like the formula. Hmm. It's very minimal. I mean, like in scent. It's very light in scent. I don't, it, 
it smells like citrusy in there, like a citrus, but like a very light citrus. Okay, let's just see how well it absorbs into the skin, right? Because I, I oh, now I'm starting to smell it. After I worked it into my hands and maybe I like, I don't know, stimulated the, the, the oils, the fragrances in it. Now I smell it. Really weird. It actually smells like, kind of like a, or a citrusy herbal smell to it. Hmm, very interesting. All right, you guys, so let's go into the next product we have here. Let's take this box that's all beat up, which is fine. This is coming from the company called, hopefully you can able to, oh, there you guys go. It is the Life, interesting how they spell it, Lifestyle Co. That's why some people can't spell anymore. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so this is the Radiant Glow Botanical Oil Cleanser. I do enjoy a good cleanser, but I am curious about the oil aspect of it, which actually is a perfect time to be using it now, since we're now hitting the winter in, or the fall in winter months, since our skin does become a little bit more drier. So it is good to put a little bit more oil back into your skin to create that hydration not to create but add into that hydration hopefully that makes any sense i'm curious does it have a scent i'm going to use it anyway so i'm gonna be honest it's kind of hard to smell because i smell more of the lotion that i just got putting on the hand cream so i'm sure there is a scent next product that we will see all right what's up lips I feel like a cheerleader. Bam, bam. Here you go, Ipsy, Ipsy. You're the one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I swear nothing else is in that coffee other than coffee creamer and coffee. All right, so the next item that we have here is from the company Fenty Beauty. I do love Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Hey. Like she's watching it. Um, anyways, I hope, I wish you well, Rihanna. Um, in terms of your Super Bowl performance, you're going to kick butt. I know you will. Anyways, you guys, so what is this? So this is the Gloss Bomb Heat. It's a universal lip luminizer plumper. So this is in the shade called Hot Cherry 01. Hopefully you guys are able to pick that up. Mm, probably not the sun. Not the sun, the lighting. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. So, I do like their glosses. I don't know if this is actually a gloss or is this a lipstick. Hmm. Anyways, um, I do I really enjoy their glosses. Their glosses are really, really good in terms of Fenty Beauty. If you haven't tried it, pick them up. They do have like a huge dough applicator, which is really nice. But I am curious about this plumping effect. Let's just take a look. All right, so same applicator. So this is what I was talking about, how it's pretty large, but I like that. It doesn't bother me. Let me get a mirror here. I'm only going to apply. I dropped it. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, you guys. So back to the channel. <laughs> I don't... The lotion. Let's just babe the lotion. It literally was slippery. All right, so let's just try it on the bottom of my lips. Uh, I'm curious about the plumpiness of this. Uh... Okay, why did I just do that? I was just trying to avoid the top. Okay, I'm special. All right, that's fine. Let's just take a look. Mm -hmm, mm -mm. I like it. I mean, I, again, like I said, I like the formula. I like the scent. The scent smells really good. Um, some of it just got on my mouth, on my tongue, my mouth, on my tongue, and it feels a little spicy. So I'm kind of curious as to what's in this now. Um, which is typically, you know, there is like a spicy um, ingredient that kind of stimulates the blood flow in your lips. So I'm not surprised that that's what I'm feeling right now, but I'm not sure what, what it could be. It could be like cayenne pepper. I don't know, but look at this. I, this is the reason why I love Fenty Beauty lip glosses. They're slightly pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented but they're also very hydrating like this literally one of my favorite like lip glosses all right you guys so let me go and put this aside enough about that we'll take a look and see if um my lips turn into like like this <laughs> oh um lime crime wait no yeah lime crime um why am i guessing second guessing myself yeah sun kiss glimmering skin stick oh, why am i like you know when you say something it doesn't like register nothing registers up here for me anyways you guys so this is in the shade oasis oh it's really pretty it looks like it has like a nice peachy rosy more of a rosy like champagne overall color all right let's go ahead and take this out all right so this is an interesting packaging i've never got anything or bought anything like this before all right so how do we oh 
feels like a deodorant stick. And it also looks like it's broken. Do you see this? Oh, why is the lighting so bright? All right, so let's just hope this is not, okay. Oh, I'm special. So there's this mechanism right here. You do this, twist. At least I thought you could. Wait, okay. Yeah, you can. Wait, <laughs> wait. <sighs> Jesus, take the wheel. Like, I, I, I never understood that phrase too, Jesus, take the wheel. Because at the time when he was around and he was alive, Jesus wasn't driving a car. So why would Jesus need to take the wheel? Do you know what I mean? And I'm still struggling here. All right, you guys. So I'm going to let you kind of marinate in that question. Jesus, take the wheel. Why does he need to take the wheel? Because he doesn't know how. He doesn't even have his permit. So why am I going to allow Jesus to take the wheel? These are the things that come in my head. All right. Um, I'm thinking this is broken. But give me a second. Let me see if I could do something different. Okay. So there's two issues with this. The hand cream. <laughs> it actually, it created an issue where I'm dropping stuff. And it didn't allow me to move this. And another thing. It was like lifted out of the packaging off of the base right here so it wouldn't push up the product i'm not sure why i mean i, I mean i just answered my question it was off the base so you do have to like like pull not pull but like maneuver this inner thing right here and then the product slowly comes up i didn't take too much out because again i'm not sure we'll see right oh uh, oh okay i i don't on Okay, again, if I'm doing this wrong, educate me here. Put a comment below because I am not familiar with these type of products. Now, let me get a brush. What the? I'm getting a brush and I got stuff all in it. All right, so let's just blend it out. It's bold right here. I'm not going to lie. It is. So let me bring some of this product and work it out. There's a glitter. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can see it. You see it? I look like um, Edward from Twilight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, to be completely honest, because of the shape of this particular product, it is quite large. I think of the, this would be, is this for your body? I'm not just applying it incorrectly. I think this would be better, best use if, you know, if you're going out, depending on the dress or the top that you have, you know, apply this to your shoulders, apply this to your neck, your chest area, and then like get a brush and blend it out. I think that actually will work really better. Or even on your legs, applying it on your legs and then kind of giving your body that, um, kind of like that nice glimmer sheen to it. I think this is more practical for that. Not necessarily on your face because you're pulling a lot more product. Now, if this was much smaller, I think this would be more user friendly. Hopefully that makes any sense. All right, you guys. So the last and final product that I do remember picking is, oh, metallic like packaging never picks up. So this is from Natasha Denona. I wasn't expecting this to be so tiny. Um, so this is a chrome, chroma crystal liquid eyeshadow okay so this comes in the shades of disco and space okay all right you guys so let's go ahead and take this out i'm curious how this looks like i'm not going to actually apply it on my eyelid hmm the dough apple here is interesting you see that okay let's try this here all right it is what it is i think this is actually a really decent set set especially for halloween um time just in case if you want to go out you're getting ready any product come on here no all right let's try this again there was no product on the door applicator interesting still none let me see if maybe there is and i'm just it's minimal all right you guys so let me show you exactly what i picked up so this this one right here is disco you see that it's actually really pretty. I'm not going to say it's not. And the other shade, the black one that I just picked up, that is Space. All right. I think these would be good toppers on a current eyeshadow that you already have on. And just put it on there to kind of like intensify the overall look. I mean, it's still pretty. I'm not saying that it's not. There's good pigment there. But, um, hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hit or miss? I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think thanks with you <laughs> let me know you guys thoughts and opinions i mean they're okay all right you guys so that was my unbagging again of my october ipsy glam bag plus shipment overall i don't i'm looking at the products that i received i don't think it was a bad bag i actually think it was a pretty decent bag overall yay kudos to them they kick butt they kick boxy charms butt literally <laughs> 
but maybe that makes sense because they do own BoxyCharm being Ipsy. Anyways, you guys, definitely leave a comment below if you haven't done so already. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. If you received this particular variation, which products you did enjoy and which products you did not enjoy. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up because as always, I greatly appreciate it. But until then, make sure to brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye now.